just focusing on 33 through 40s today. Now, <clears throat> I read the whole thing yesterday, so if you're digging it, then go back and uh, watch it. I'll just read 33 to 40 and then talk about what I feel like the Lord has guided me to today. Man, I want to sneeze so bad, but I'm not. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your way. Establish your word in your servant to your servant who is devoted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach which I dread for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Now, ah, so sniffly. Sniffles are so annoying. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Now, that's something I often do not cry out for myself, you know. Uh, I tend to pray and cry out for, I mean, I think all of these are really wonderful outlines for prayer, for how, how to pray. Um, but I don't tend to do that so much. Teach me, Lord, your law, and I shall keep it to the end. I often end up praying for strength on what seem like far more, certainly quotidian things, you know? Just like whatever strength to get through the day sometimes, or uh, just for his joy to fall upon me, you know? That I might shine, I just want to shine his light, you know, wherever I go, to cause uh, confusion and mystery in the, in the minds of those who do not have, do not have that sweet, sweet personal relationship with him. Because, man, it's the best thing. It's the best thing in my life. I was just praying that this morning or whatever. I was like, Lord, you are the best thing in my life. Just bar none. And I have a lot of cool blessings in my life, man. He's blessed me beyond measure. Um, or I suppose someone could measure it. I don't know. There are a lot of ways to measure things nowadays. Uh, give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Now, the one thing I really love about this is something I've been coming to a really, or he's been guiding me to a sweet understanding of, is that trying to forge ahead of God, or forge, you know, uh, go, okay, I get it, God, and like even in love, and then stride on ahead and try to do all these things without his sustenance, and just go, okay, great, I get it, I'm going to go do it. Is a, is a path wrought with frustration, you know, certainly has been for me. And so I love this, that we are called to cry out, give me understanding. Don't go, all right, Lord said it, I don't get it. Lord said it, I believe it, that settles it. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. No, Lord, give me understanding. So I might understand everything that you're asking me to do. Make me walk Indeed, I, tell me tell me what I need to do, Lord God, and I will observe it with my whole heart. Not, oh man, I gotta do this. God says this is important, so. But do it with your whole heart, with a full of, of joy that you are, that you're, you're stalking the path of righteousness. That you're stalking the path designed for you. You know what I mean? We're always looking for that, aren't we? We're always looking for like our place, our, our, our destino as a, as, uh, as we sort of scramble and try this thing and that thing and this thing, and we just like, oh, I just want to find the right thing. What is my thing? What is my purpose in life, you know? What is my purpose in this day? What is my purpose in this place? What is my purpose in this relationship? Whatever, you know? And and here uh, uh, the psalmist is asking, as I've been asking, make me, make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Man, that is so true. I stumble like crazy, you know? following his law, and I'm constantly just praying, Lord God, make me, puppet me. Lord, I'm sure I'm a proud person and, and hold probably many vanities, but Lord God, you are righteous beyond measure. I've seen it, I've tasted it, I've felt it. It has shaken me. 
please, you you want to do the driving? You drive. Lord, drive me. Drive me wherever you want me to go. And I know sometimes saying that can lead to periods of great challenge, you know? Lord, bring it out. You know? <laughs> you know? You know? You know? You know? You know? Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to covetousness. Man, again, covetousness to me is like one of the most basic and daily uh, sins that we fall into. Like it so reveals the human heart. I think how, now maybe I'm just happen to be a covetous person and know some covetous people, but uh, covetousness, you know, just think of how often you uh, envy is, is struck up in your heart throughout the day over anything, you know, over an outpouring of love, over some PDA on the street, you know, over some athletic maneuver, over the, the, the you know, the jujitsu skills of Frank Mir, <laughs> you know, Cribs, man, Cribs is all about, and nah, I don't know if anybody watches that show or they even making new ones anymore, but you know, for example, that type of thing, and all these like aspirational programming and commercials totally buy on it, hey, wouldn't you like to be like this, you know, they know what we're like, fear and covetousness, man, are just, are just dominant, uh, uh, what's the word? are just dominant paradigms in our darkness and that which needs healing, you know, and that which needs direction. But we should be covetous of, of, of righteousness and fullness of joy. We should be covetous of ourselves, of our true selves, of who we are supposed to be, you know, and chase that. Say, Lord, make me that which I desire to be, which I would delight in, you know. Turn my eyes away from looking at worthless things. I love that. Such like something my mom would say. And revive me in your way. Turn my eyes at worthless things. How often do we spend looking at worthless things? I mean, I don't. I struggle a lot with like whether uh, labor or working of any sort is of any use. You know, if it is not godly. But fact remains that we are in a world, and there is a time, a time for many things. Time for this. Time for that. Time for whatever. Time for, to reap. Time for sow. To sow. So, and, uh, and I think part of our fall is the fact that we must labor to continue in this life. And we've created a scenario as human beings where we've overpopulated, we've clustered up, we've just, we've created country boundaries. We've done everything we can to like get away from the bounty of the, of, of this land, you know, and do it ourselves. And so now we're so far away from it. We all need to constantly clamor and, and scramble to, to stay ahead and labor, you know? And how often do, does that then, then distract our mind and like we spend all this time, even our non-work time, focusing on work, you know, or our, our non, our non-labor time dwelling on things that aren't, don't have, don't have anything to do with who we truly are, you know, or even just spreading joy in the world. Establish your word in the servant who is devoted to fearing you. Turn, oh, I wanted to say this last part before, right? I love this. I love it. This is all just like, Lord, revive me, wake me fulfill me because that's what he wants to do that's what he wants us to ask because that's what he wants to do fulfill revive cleanse it's the best it's really a pretty good deal <laughs> turn away my reproach which i dread for your judgments are good turn away my approach do not reproach me lord and that doesn't mean hey don't correct me no it says turn away my reproach for your your, your judgments are good turn i fear your reproach lord because if you reproach me then i'm then i'm effing up I don't want to mess up, <laughs> you know? So if you, and I know that your judgments are good, Lord God. Man, the things that the Lord has laid heavy on my heart to get rid of within myself, good call, all of them. Fun? No. But good call, and I know, and you, and there's a conviction, man, there's a conviction the Lord will lay on your heart about what are you doing? And it's, it sucks. It sucks to get those. But it's also those... In that, in that affliction, in that finger point, man, major life changes can occur. Just of shedding this, this, this thing that he's, he's delighted to, to relieve you of. So it's funny, I fear, I fear that because you're right. Basically, I fear your judgment because you're always right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.